Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing this look using the Bare All Beauty from Makeup Geek. And yeah, my husband's been out of town. He likes reds and purples. Last time he left town, I did purple. Today I'm doing a splash of red. The only thing I didn't do smart was my first appointment is my dentist appointment. I don't know what it is. Every time I go to the dentist, I want to wear a dark lip that day. And today is no exception. So we're going to see how good the dentist is at not getting it everywhere. All right, but we didn't talk ab come to talk about my challenges with lips and uh, the dentist, but I did want to share with you kind of what I've used. So the Bear All Beauty Collection is fantastic, and I hope I just said that right. I did use a lot of Makeup Geek products today, and I wanted to share those with you. If you've not used the Makeup Geek brushes, I absolutely love these babies. I have one from several years ago that was still kind of maroon in the handle. Um, I've almost wore off the, or basically I've wore off the name Makeup Geek. These brushes, y'all, are inexpensive and to die for. So, I prefer the Makeup Geek brushes over all the other ones. Typically, I'll grab another one when all my Makeup Geek ones are a little dirty. All right, for the lips, I started out really bold, and I'm using Beauty Queen. Hmm, a little saucy, a little saucy. But I like this color because... My teeth still look white, which is a good color for me when a red makes the teeth still look white. But this is in the plush matte. These go on super soft, creamy, and just feel great on the lips. So if you haven't tried the plush matte lippy, you may want to. It's got several colors and they're fantastic. Okay, so she launched um, some eyebrow pencils earlier this year, and so I have used two of the eyebrow pencils. I've used dark brown and medium brown, and I'll show you in the video how I use dark brown along the edge, and then I use the medium brown towards the center. That'll be in the video. Actually, all this will be in the video. And then as far as eyeliners go, um, she relaunched her eyeliners. I still find these very creamy and, and lovely. And so that's what I've used today is both these eyeliners. One is nude. Hmm, not it, not it. And the other one is, oh, that's the, I'm sorry. I grabbed all the eyeliners. Um, the brown is the eyeliner I use today. So let's talk about the Bare All Beauty Collection. So some of those pieces are in the bundle that you can purchase. A lot of those are sold out right now, but you can still buy individual pieces. The um, In the Nude palette is one that she put out, I believe it was last year, and kind of relaunched it um, to get that out into the market again. Great, great palette. So I basically used every single color playing today because I can't help myself with the exception of, I believe it's this one. So I did play with eight out of the nine colors. Just, I thought I was really going to go with a very cool tone look. And then I was like, well, what about some tan lines? What about some cabin fever? And then I just used them all. So really love this palette. It gives a very nice, pretty look. This travels very well. I do enjoy having, um, even though this is cardboard, it is sleek. It stand, withstands the test of time. In fact, I bought probably four or five more of these empty because I have a ton of Makeup Geek eyeshadows and so I've just been playing making my own palettes. But really, really like these colors. You'll see in the video, I tilt my head back. There's no splotchiness. There's no blotchiness. There's no skipping. Um, the eyeshadows just always blend well with Makeup Geek, and I love their price point. In the Nude eyeshadow palette is $29.99. So I have the Beautifully Bare in two different colors. So I am a fair skin girl, mm -hmm. but I've been out in the sun. I have used sun protection, but my skin is still darker. So I went ahead and got the light and the medium. So today I've used the medium. These colors are absolutely beautiful. So one of the things that I've enjoyed about Makeup Geek in the last um, couple years is she's really getting into helping the consumer by putting together pal colors. So before then, uh, you could buy them individually and then you had to be creative. 
if you're like me, sometimes creativity is lacking and like I see all the colors, I see how pretty they are, but sometimes it just escapes me how to put them together. So I really like the fact that Makeup Geek has done some quads, they've done palettes, and now um, they're giving kind of a blush, highlighter, and contour in one. So I want to give huge props to Makeup Geek for switching it up and being able to put together something like this. So the average person doesn't really have to get overwhelmed and think. They just see these all go together, grab it and go. Absolutely love that new marketing strategy. So we're going to grab, um, this is Tawny. This one is Sweetness. And this one is Daybreak. Obviously, my phone is going off the hook. So these are the three colors that I used today. I think they went on really well. I think they're super pretty and I absolutely love, love, love them. I am a peachy kind of person. I gravitate more towards the peaches on the cheek, period, because I think a peachy cheek just is nice and pretty. All right, so now let's look at the one for fair skin. So we have Sunkissed as a bronzer. We have Bliss as a blush and Psychedelic as a duochrome highlighter. These duochrome highlighters are off the hook. So let me see if I can put these right next to the others. How about that? Okay, so you can definitely tell there's a difference in the contour. Um, the blushes on my skin tend to be very similar and the duochromes, I really like both of them. So this one picks up more of a pearl because it's going to highlight a deeper skin tone. And this one actually picks up a peach, which absolutely looks amazing with the blush. So I think either of them do very well. The one thing that I do like about the duochrome is it doesn't pick up blue. I don't know why there's a lot of blues or purples in some of the, the lighter color shades for highlighters, but when I turn my cheek, I don't necessarily want a purple or a blue. I don't mind any other color. Maybe purple or like a light, light lilac to where you almost can't tell it's lilac is fine. I just don't like the in your face purple or the blue for every day. Just my opinion. So anyways, wanted to show you um, how I'm putting together the bare all beauty in the nude, naughty naughty. Dang, am I really getting ready for my husband coming home or what? Ooh. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my review and my thoughts on this. If you have any questions, please put those below. I do love these products because they absolutely perform. And oh, by the way, let me tell you, I'm going down a rabbit trail. Forgot to put in the mischievous false lashes. Like these things, because they were littler this way, I was like, uh. Like, I've been ignoring these. I bought all of her lashes, but I've been ignoring these because I thought, I, I don't know that these are for me, but I've got to I've gotta have everything makeup geek. I want to try it all out. It's just who I am. And these have now somehow become my favorite. So I don't know how, I don't know. These just have like kind of a 60s flare on the edge. Don't know what it is, but I freaking have fallen in love with these and these now are my go-to. The other thing, just want to tell you ladies and gentlemen, if you do buy the Makeup Geek eyelashes, I think they're around $8. And let me tell you, let me tell you, as many times as you will get use out of these babies if you take care of them, it's amazing. These ones I have on right now, this is like my third or fourth time. So when I look at it just right now, okay, I've got two bucks a P for basically for the wear. I ain't done with these yet. So you really get a lot of uses out of her lashes. The band on the lash lines, fantastic. They are soft. They're not a hard band. They are a little bit thicker, but I like that because the eyelashes are full and lush. And that's kind of what I want. I don't want something too over the top, although she does have some over the top for those nights out. But for every day, like this is now my go-to, oh my God, I love these lashes. Okay, I think that was all the Makeup Geek products I used today. 
So, just wanted to let y'all know that what I'm using today to get ready for my husband's return. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see how I put together this eye look, you are in the right spot. Stay tuned. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to start with the plush matte from Makeup Geek, and it is called Beauty Queen. I almost feel like it should be called Dancing Queen. No, don't sing. Normally, I like to start out with my eyes first, but I think because I'm doing a bold lip, which is not like me, I'm going to go ahead and start out with my face done. Okay, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek. I'm going to do the medium skin one. We're going to use this color called Tawny. And since I can't see my cheekbones, i got to go ahead and squeeze them in. <laughs> the blush is called Sweetness, just like my personality when I'm asleep. <laughs> Considering I had no sleep last night, I'm in a kind of a good mood. Actually, my husband's coming back into town. That's probably why I'm in a good mood. It's nice when we get apart, and then it's just fantastic. We miss each other, and then we get back together, and it's like, oh until it's time for him or I to take another vacation. Okay, then we're gonna take the Daybreak Highlighter. And look how pretty. All right, we're going for the full glow today. Full glow. For the eyebrows, I am going to do a mixture. I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Dark Brown for the tail of my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna take the Medium Brown for the front of my eyebrows. And y'all don't judge, I don't do eyebrows worth a hoot. I'm just gonna take a spoolie and kind of blend those together. So you can kind of see how it blends a little bit better than right here, it's got a really hard defined line. Okay, we're gonna take the In The Nude palette on a Makeup Geek Soft Dome brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put down the color Rapunzel. We're going to take some, I believe this is tan, creased. In the crease, I'm going to take this color tan lines. I'm going to take this color here called, this one is cabin fever. I'm going to take some dark roast. What I love about Makeup Geek is I can flip my head back and I don't see any bits of skipping, chalkiness, not finding the right word, blotchiness, not the right word. Okay, we're going to pick up the color in the spotlight. And then to darken that up a little bit, I'm going to use Grandstand just right on the edge here, on the edge. How about in the middle of the eye? I'm going to go back in with Cabin Fever because I feel like I lost a bit of it and to smooth out any line I may have. And I'm going to go ahead and go back in with Tan Lines and just kind of buff the edges here. Taking the Makeup Geek Eyeliner in Brown. And if y'all can hear a chuffing in the background from, say, a little dog, I'm All right, sorry. And since I didn't sleep well last night, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Nude Pencil just to brighten that inner waterline. I'm going to pick line. up a Makeup Geek Pencil Brush and grab some of this Dark Roast to go to kind of set the pencil. I always like using an eyeliner and then having powder over it. I just feel like it sets it. I've had someone ask me, what do I do? Because by the end of my work day, my eyeliner is still in place and theirs isn't. And I think it's just because the powder typically sets it. We're going to go with that. Okay, now I'm going to grab some of this uh, in the spotlight. Because if you're in the nude, you're definitely in we the spotlight. We are going to add some Better Than Sex mascara. Because if we're going to have in the nude and in the spotlight, we might as well have better than sex mascara. Okay, so I've been using Makeup Geek's eyelashes and I had some favorites and I really hadn't tried some of the other ones. Well, now I've tried some of the other ones and I have found 
I've got a new favorite. I recently thought, you know what, we're gonna try Mischievous. And I didn't wanna try Mischievous because they were kind of shorter and I wasn't sure about them till I tried Mischievous. Then I was like, hello, this is just a different eyelash look and I like it. And I, I totally thought I would not like those. So I have wore these a couple times and I love the fact that you can wear these things as many times because then it makes them even less expensive than they already are. But I love how they just flare out on the sides. I don't know, it's kind of a cat look. Maybe it's a 60s look but I freaking love so this it. This is my look for my husband coming back home today. 